everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the synchronized cardioversion function on a LifePak 20. Unlike defibrillation, synchronized cardioversion is delivered to people who are in unstable tachycardic rhythms, such as AFib RVR, VTAC with a pulse, and SVT. Synchronized cardioversion should not be used to correct sinus tachycardia. The first thing I'll do is turn my device on. Make sure you've attached pads and all appropriate leads to the patient. My patient happens to be in VTAC, but I can tell that it has a pulse because the patient has an SpO2 pleth. Synchronized cardioversion is performed in a very similar fashion to defibrillation on a LifePak 20. However, the sync button must be pressed before every cardioversion attempt. Once the sync button is pressed, you'll notice that indicators appear above the R waves on the ECG rhythm. These indicators denote exactly where energy will be delivered during cardioversion. The next step is to select energy. Synchronized cardioversion requires less energy than defibrillation because energy can be delivered more precisely. I'll select my energy and then hit charge. Once fully charged, you must press and hold the shock button to deliver the energy. As this first shock was not effective, I'll go ahead and hit the sync button again, making sure I can see indicators above all R waves. Increase my energy and hit charge. Once fully charged, I'll clear my patient and press and hold the shock button to deliver the energy. For the next shock, I'll repeat the process. Press the sync button, making sure I can see indicators above all R waves. Increase my energy in a stepwise fashion, charge, and then when ready, clear my patient and press and hold the shock button. And just like that, we've successfully converted a patient out of an unstable VTAC back into normal sinus rhythm. Now just remember, because these patients are alive, this may be a very painful procedure. So consider pre-medicating appropriately.